Crestwood Wrestling here at our Carol and Janelle's Takeaway Kitchen. Their head coach, Darren Testa, with us. And uh, Darren, obviously the camaraderie that you have with your, your guys in the room uh, feels good. Uh, getting to see other coaches uh, throughout the year from District 2. Uh, and you coach for a long time. Took a little time, and uh, you're back at it. Never really fully <laughs> stepped away <laughs> in some regard. But uh, let's talk about uh, having a, a positive 2017-18. Yeah, we've got, uh, got a lot of seniors on the team this year, so there's definitely some experience there. Uh, a couple young kids. Uh, right now we're a little bit banged up, uh, trying to go through a couple injuries. Uh, I think when we hit hit January, I think we're going to be a pretty good team. I think everyone will be down in weights. So right now it's kind of just playing playing the game, trying to keep alive. Uh, so when we hit the, the major part of the season come January, we're ready to go. Still on weights. Uh, right now, are you, are you able to kind of get right, close right to now, that? Right now, we have uh, one four fit. I think when the two pound allowance comes in over Christmas time, uh, you know, the weight plans then straighten out for us. Uh, if we get everybody healthy, we'll have everything filled. Right now, we're four fitting one weight. A couple guys banged up right now. That might be one or two more for, for a week or so, and then we'll be all right. How about some of the leaders in the room? Uh, some, some of the leaders in the room, we've got, uh, you know, Ronnie Gravera is a senior district runner up last year. Uh, he's certainly leader of the team. Uh, Jordan Miali and Garrett Snipe were district place finishers for us last year. Jordan was a runner-up. Garrett took third. Uh, with a big senior class, you know, Shane O'Rourke, who was a Long Valley Conference champion last year. Uh, Ryan Black and, and, and others. Uh, so we've got a lot of depth there. But, but, and uh, Sage George right now, a little bit banged up. We get back him. He's, he's, uh, he's a big leader we're missing right now, uh, along with those other guys. You talk about the being able to tie wrestling and family together and obviously over the holidays you try to make sure the guys get enough break to have family time but you know you got to keep certain things in check in there and uh, you'll have your, a different kind of family with some yeah. time with them it's it, you know wrestling's uh it's a difficult sport we have two major holidays because you have the thanksgiving holiday and then the christmas holiday so you, you know you're trying to trying to work it out you're trying to understand people going away but uh, certainly usually some of your biggest tournaments are over that christmas holiday uh, so you're trying to keep those kids, trying to keep weights down, trying to keep everyone kind of moving along. And, and you know, it's it's one of those deals where you spend more time with uh, with these kids than you do some of your, you know, with your own. And uh, they spend more time with us than uh, than they do sometimes your families. But that's that's part of the camaraderie of the sport. You know, we just had a tournament over the weekend. You know, your Saturday, Sunday, your weekend's pretty much shot. But uh, you know, that's that's kind of also the go the tournaments and going away that builds that camaraderie with, with the kids. So you know, it's a tough deal being over Christmas. I think some of the parents it gets tough. They can't eat those huge Christmas dinners. But uh, but you know, that's just part of the sport. And I think people that have been around it that's that even makes that stronger, that bond stronger. Let's talk about uh, this year and some of the opponents in the Wyoming Valley Conference and the way the league is kind of structured. In the end, it all come down to kind of you know some, some team tournaments and then individual stuff, but. Uh, talk about the league being a little tough. I, I tell you what, the league this year, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, good teams this year. I think there's a little bit better than we've had in the years past. Maybe we don't have that one standout team, but you've got a lot of guys that are right in that, a lot of teams right in the mix. Coughlin's got a good good mix of, of kids. I think people thought Hazelton might be a little bit down, but they've got a great mix of young kids uh, and, and experienced guys. Uh, you know, Dallas has got some quality wrestlers. Then you're pulling in, you know, uh, you know, like Lake Lehman, things like that with Division One and Two. Lehman's got a great team of mix of, uh, of young and old. Uh, and you throw us in there, I think we're, as, you know, we can compete with anybody when we get everybody down at weight. So it, it really is a toss-up. I think you might see some teams, uh, you might have a, you know, a round robin type here where somebody beats somebody else and this team beats that. So it should be very interesting district duels, seating, trying to get people in and then certainly getting some quality opponents from Lackawanna League coming down. So uh, I think it's a good year as far as full teams. It, it, within District 2 might not be that that one level team where you, you say wow they're just so much better than everybody else I think you have a good a good mix of teams this year coaching staff let's talk about uh, what you have uh, in the room uh, you know Paul uh, Ashton's been my assistant coach uh, since I came back last year and worked with him in junior high he was my junior high assistant coach he's a great guy to have in the room and these guys he's, he helps really keep a keep an handle on some of these guys uh, he's a, he lightens up the mood quite a bit so you know he's fantastic uh, a couple guys, you know, uh, Dylan Miali graduated for a couple of year four He's in the room helping us out. You know, my, my junior high coaches, Roger Lagan and, and Michael Lagan and, and Joel Heinzman. Without those guys, uh, you know, it'd be, it'd be impossible to get this stuff done. You know, I, I got out of it, got back in, and certainly if I didn't have a, a staff to help me out, you know, I wouldn't have come back. You know, the, the, the junior high is a big deal, trying to get numbers out. You know, so this year I think we have uh, 27, 28 kids. It's our biggest numbers on junior high in a long time. So 
you know, they're, they're inexperienced kids, but we have numbers, and that bodes well for our high school team in the, in the coming years. So it's, that's exciting to see. A lot to soak up over the next couple of weeks uh, with your family. Uh, there's something that kind of stands out to you, that uh, a tradition or something that you really enjoy, a certain meal or? Uh, you know, Christmas time's, uh, you know, uh, always, uh, to me, I, I, I love it. You get to see family. My, my sister, my brother-in-law uh, put on a massive spread. So, you know, the Christmas day, if I, my brother-in-law's cooking, I'm there. There's no doubt about it. So there's, you know, every traditional stuff, but then there's always seafood. There's there's going to be certainly Italian family. You're going to have pasta in some way, shape, or form that's going to kick in there. So to me, that stuff means more than having the ham and everything else. I'd rather the good traditional dishes, you know, than uh, good family, you know, good Italian meals. So that's what we got going on. All right, Dan, I appreciate you telling us your story and about the Crestwood Wrestling Team this year. And have a good season. Thanks, John. Jordan Maiali joining us from the Crestwood Wrestling Team here on the John Mandola Show. And uh, Jordan, talk a little bit about what you enjoy about wrestling. I like how it's an individual sport. When you go out in the mat, it's just you out there. There's no one else you can blame. It's, uh, it's all on you, and it's about the work ethic. You also play soccer. Uh, do you have a favorite right now? No. I, I mean wrestling, but uh, I just played soccer this year to stay in shape. Talk about uh, being one of the captains on this team and just trying to be a leader. Uh, it means a lot. you got to push these kids to uh, achieve their goals. A lot of them don't know how to do it, so you got to get them there. You got uh, some older siblings came before you, so tell us about what you've learned from them that kind of set the tone in your family. Uh, my b middle brother Dylan was always a hard worker. He uh, he was a wrestler, and that's why I started wrestling. And he, he's on our team now as a coach, so he pushes me to get better every day. Doing well in the classroom, 3.7. You like science. Talk about uh, being a good uh, good student. Yeah, it's important when you're on the wrestling team. You know, if your grades drop too low, you're not going to be able to wrestle, and that's part of it. The ethics. Attend college. So, what do you want to do as far as a major, or you want to be far away, close to home? You still got a couple of years to think about yeah. it. So, you still kind of, you know, wide open about that. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing. I, I want to go far away, though. I know that. Let's talk about some role models in your life. Um, my coach, Coach Paul. He was a. Uh, he plays in states when he was in high school. He always works hard, and he teaches us to uh, never quit and always work hard. Anything fun you're looking forward to when the holidays come up? Right, eating a lot of food and uh, not wrestling. All right. Well, uh, I hope that uh, when you eat the food, it still balances out on the weight for you on the on the mat. And uh, we appreciate your time, Jordan. Happy New Year. Thank you, you too. Garrett Swank joining us from Crestwood here on the John Mandola Show. And uh, Garrett, you're a sophomore, so a little bit of youth uh, on Crestwood's wrestling team. Uh, talk about some of the younger talent around you. I mean, uh, me and Jordan, he's 126. Uh, we're always in the room pushing each other. I mean, and then you have Trey Zabrowski, he's a freshman, we moved him up this year. And uh, Justin Sterling, another good sophomore at uh, 120. And they're always pushing each other, so all the younger guys are really going at it and just looking to make each other better. Usually only as good as your partner. And, yeah. Uh, if you have a lazy partner, you may be lazy. So yeah. talk about uh, your partners in the room and pushing each other. Yeah, we're always looking to just get better and improve like wrestling and uh, we're always pushing each other and we're never slacking off. And you're a football player? Yeah. You know, talk about what position you play. Well, I was a backup quarterback over the season and then our uh, starter went down so I had to come in week four and I took over from then and it went pretty well but as a sophomore going in there weighing 132 pounds, it's a little scary and uh, you know, I, I held my ground but it was fun. Hey, hey, shoulder pad, you probably look 150, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, the goals going forward. A couple of years away, but uh, a school you may be interested in attending. Yeah, uh, definitely the University of Oklahoma. I'm a big fan, football fan, everything. We go out there usually once a year. Uh, campus is nice. I, I just uh, think it'd be fun to go there. Carrying a 3.6 grade point average, so you're a serious student. Yeah. And you like history, so uh, yeah. talk about whether it's a teacher or the subject matter. I think it's it's both, but definitely a good teacher makes it a lot better. Uh, my teacher this year is he's a really good teacher, and he makes me stay focused, and uh, I'm always interested in learning new stuff about history. Who's a shout out? Which teacher? Uh, Mr. Healy is a great guy. All right. Uh, hilarious. Great right. teacher. All right. Jokes always help, right? Yep. Coach Paul, tell us a little bit about him as a role you know, model. Uh, Coach Paul has always been there for me. Uh, 
in elementary, I used to we do the PJW states, and he'd always come down, sit in my corner. He's just one of those guys that's always been there for me and helping me uh, improve wrestling, and uh, he's always giving me pointers to get better, and he's just always there for me. Any unique tradition that you do over the holidays, or maybe it's a meal that you have, or somebody does something that you try to keep that going? Well, uh, we usually have a Christmas Eve party at my grandparents, but this year it's going to be held at our house, so I'm looking forward to that, having all my cousins come over and just having a good time. All right, Garrett, well, uh, thank you for your time, and Happy New Year. Thank you. Shane O'Rourke joining us from the Crestwood Wrestling Team here on the Job and Dola Show, and Shane, let's talk a little bit about what kind of wrestler you are. Um, I'm a 220 for Crestwood, and I like to go out there and do a lot of upper body moves. That's, that's my main stuff I do. How about some stiff competition that you, you look forward to facing in the district? Um, I didn't get to wrestle districts, unfortunately. I was injured last year, but I was hoping I thought I would have got first or second in that, moving on to regionals. So this is like a big year for me. It's my senior year. Or is uh, making 220 something that you think will be easy for you this year, or you'll be fighting the weight? Um, it, I'm fighting the weight. I'm, I'm usually a lot heavier than that. Yeah. Well, uh, the holidays will have to be a little tight, huh? Yeah, I can't <laughs> eat that much during the holidays. Any, uh, any fun meals that you do enjoy over the holidays that you'll have to um, kind of watch a little bit? Yeah, I mean, honestly, anything. I'm just looking forward to eat have fun. <laughs> Life is a wrestler. Yeah. It ain't easy, huh? Let's talk about uh, the classroom. Uh, good student, 3.6, biology. Uh, what do you like about the, some of the subject matter you have at Crestwood? Um, just biology is like the only subject that really interests me. I'm not really a school kid, but that's, I just gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do, so. Life after high school, what's next for you and why? I'm, I enlisted in the Marine Corps, and I'm looking forward to that a lot, and I hope to just make a career out of that. Anybody in the family uh, ever do the military thing? Yeah, both of my grandparents, they, they were in the military. So different branch. I'm going to be the first one that's in the Marines. But A quite admirable task. Yeah. Uh, everybody seems to love Coach Paul. Tell us yeah. uh, who Coach Paul is. Coach Paul is, he's always drilling with the heavier kids. And he's always there to lighten stuff up during everything, during the tournaments and stuff. Make you less nervous. So he's always there for us. Talk about the older sister, Callie. Um, my older sister, we're really close. She's 21 years old now. Um, even though she's at college, she's always talking to me and stuff like that. Always cheer me on. How about the people in the stands cheering on Shane O'Rourke? Who are they? Um, mainly my mom, my sister, and that's about it. Basically, my mom and my sister. They're always there for me at all my tournaments and stuff. I'm sure they are. Well, uh, that Marine sounds uh, pretty interesting, and, and as I said, uh, we appreciate the, the opportunities you're going to have to serve your country, so good luck and thank you. Thank you. Ryan Black with us here on the John Mandola Show from Crestwood. And, uh, Ryan, uh, it's your senior year. What do you enjoy about wrestling? About wrestling, I like how it's all um, individual. I like how there's nobody else to blame uh, besides yourself uh, if you're losing or winning. Um, unlike football that I play, um, you can kind of like hide, but uh, wrestling is a lot different. Talk about uh, your hard on yourself if you do lose. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty hard on myself. I like lock myself in my room for days. <laughs> days on out. Yeah. Well, talk about your wrestling style. What kind of wrestler are you? Kind of an aggressive wrestler? Um, I'm more like slow pace, like sort of a defensive wrestler. Um, I usually wait for people to make their move and like usually my first period is just feeling out the other wrestler, you know what I mean? Um, and I like, I like top a lot. Let's talk about the little brother you have. And, uh, is he involved in any sports? Does he look up to you? Yeah, he plays uh, soccer and he's always uh, at all my matches and tournaments and stuff like that. Um, I'm always at his stuff. Like I said, he plays soccer. And, um, yeah. Let's talk about the, the next step for you, the United States Marine Corps. Where did that come from? Um, I don't know. It's just something that I've always wanted to do. Uh, and then me and him are doing it. So, I don't know. It just, it's, 
just always been like a lifelong dream. Now, what are the odds that you would chain kind of get into the same area? Um, we're, we're doing the buddy program, so we're going to go through uh, boot camp together. We're going to go to do, uh, SOI together, MOS together, all that fun stuff. And we could probably even be stationed in the same place if we request it. Any people in the military in your family, or are you going to be the first one? Um, I would be the first one. You went right for the Marines, yeah. huh? That's pretty awesome. Let's talk about Coach Testa, your relationship with him. Coach Testa, um, we're, always, we're always making fun of each other. And I pin him a lot when we wrestle. <laughs> I throw him around a little bit. You throw him around a little yeah. bit, huh? All right. Well, I guess can't beat, you know, the youth versus yeah, age, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The guy's getting old. Yeah. Well, we appreciate your time, Ryan. Thanks for telling us your story. Good luck in the Marine Corps. Thank you. Ron Rivera joining us from Crestwood Wrestling here on the Job and Dola Show. And, uh, Ron, let's talk a little bit about uh, the experience with this group of guys. Uh, looks like a fun bunch. Yeah, I mean, we've been together since junior high and wrestled all throughout high school, so we've been together a while, so we're just so acquainted with each other. It's your senior year. What are you hoping to go out and do? Uh, stay medal, if you can. As far as your wrestling style, what would you say it is? Uh, probably just try to score points. I mean, I just got to be quicker on my feet. As far as uh, the score of your, your matches, higher scoring, lower scoring, somewhere in the middle? So far they've been pretty high scoring, I mean, double, up, double digit points. So. You've got a couple of brothers, so tell us about both of them and what they do and whether they support you with wrestling. Yeah, Brady, he's like the athlete. He plays all kinds of sports, soccer, basketball, baseball. Evan, he's like the artist. He doesn't do anything athletic at all, so they're different. Biology is one of your favorite subjects. You're very good in the classroom, 3.8. Talk about what you'll enjoy about biology. Uh, probably just like how relatable it is, all the body parts. And it helps with like injuries, you know, like what exactly what's wrong when you have the background. Part of the Benton Tiger Wrestling Club. Talk about what you learned there. Obviously, you have some good wrestlers there. Yeah, I've been going there for years. So just wrestling, state qualifiers every day, help, definitely helps you get better. So it's just a good group of kids to work out with. What are the big goals for you this year, whether it's districts or regionals or possibly beyond? Yeah, I'm going to try to win a district championship, a uh, Wyoming Valley Conference championship, and a state medal. As far as uh, the next step for you, uh, do you know what you want to do next year? Uh, just wrestling in college. So, I mean, I have it down to like four colleges. I don't know where yet. Far away, close to home. Where? You, what are, who's on that list? Uh, a couple of schools in Ohio and some schools in PA. You got a couple of Marines, future Marines. Yeah. Talk about these guys and, and what they do in the room and what you think they'll do to serve their country. I think they'll be good. They're all tough. So, and they're all fit, so they'll definitely get through the physical aspect of it. So they'll be all right. Any uh, fun stuff for you coming up over the holidays that you're looking forward to? Uh, just the Jim Dorf tournament. I can't wait to rest in that. All right. Well, Ron, uh, we thank you for your time and happy 2018.